Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at the custom launcher called KK Launcher, which is an exact replica of the Google Home Experience Launcher, which is on Android 4.4 KitKat. So some of the notable highlights of this launcher are it is highly customizable, it has an accurate KitKat feel, it uh, requires Android 4.1 and above, and it's the perfect replacement for the KitKat launcher which was recently extracted. For those of you who may who might have had problems like force closing and so on by installing the actual launcher which is from the Nexus 5, you can try out this alternative as it is very nice. And the last thing is it has the Nexus 5 HD wallpapers included. And most importantly the launcher is completely free, has no ads popping up, no push notifications, nothing of that sort. So let's start off with the basic home screen. Now as you can see this is what we get. I am using one of the wallpapers included in this launcher as you can see. And uh, as for the icons, for those of you who may be wondering, you do not get these icons actually. You get your stock icons, whatever you are using, for example you could be using a stock Android device, you could be using a Sense ROM, a TouchWiz ROM, you just get the dialer, the uh, contacts and everything else, the same icons just on your current skin. Unfortunately for now I have noticed this launcher does not come with custom KitKat icons, so you need to use an icon pack. We're gonna take a look at this in just a bit. So as you can see by pressing the options key we are taken here and basically just like on the KitKat launcher we have wallpapers, widgets and settings section. Let's take a look at the wallpapers. Like I said this has all of the Nexus 5 wallpapers included in very high quality. It really looks nice. Next we've got the widget screen here. Basically displays all of your widgets and you can add whatever you like on your home screen. For example the bookmarks, as you can see that functions quite nicely. And finally we're gonna head into the settings part. Now in settings we have options to customize the desktop, the drawer, the dock, folders and obviously the theme and feel. So let's start off with the desktop. As you can see here we have some basic options for the desktop grid. You can choose how many rows and columns you want to use depending on your screen size, whichever looks best to you. Then we've got desktop text size in case you feel it is small. Allow swipe right. This is actually a small gesture which when you swipe to the right from the first screen you enter Google now. I personally don't really find that very um, good. And then you've got default home screen, you can either select the left page, the right or the middle. Middle is always best in my opinion. And wallpaper scrolling, pretty obvious, you might already know what this does. Basically when you scroll through pages, you, you can make the wallpaper stay in one place or you can make it scroll along with the pages. And we've got show search bar. Let's head into the drawer. Pretty much like on the desktop settings, but here we have hide apps option, which is very useful if you want to hide some apps. And once again, app drawer grid, grid with the rows and columns, text size, and the background transparency. In the dock settings, we've got dock icons number, how many icons you want to have on the dock. You can change the icon scale of these icons. And you can also change the position of the app drawer. In my opinion, in the middle, it is best. And next, we've got the folder settings. Basically nothing here, but just the grid of the folders. Once again, rows, columns, and so on. Then we've got theme and feel, not much options here either, as you can see you have the icon theme, you can choose a pack. Like I said, this launcher does not come with KitKat icons integrated, so it will just display your default icons depending on your skin, on your phone. But you can download an app such as KitKat Experience, which applies icon packs pretty much on any launcher. For example, now this is what I'm using, as you can see on the icons on my home screen, I am using the KitKat icons. And you can also change the scale once again if you find them too small looking. And that's about it. Basically here we have some information about the launcher, its Play Store page, feedback to rate it and so on. And lastly an option here to reset all the settings to default. And one last thing for those of you who might be wondering how to create multiple pages, you might have tried to pitch but it doesn't work as you can see. There isn't either an option here to add a new page, it's basically like this. If you have a widget on the page it exists, if you don't the page does not exist. So let's say I want to paste the messaging. Now as you can see I can put it in here. And now I have two pages. And I can scroll. But if I remove it, the page is also gone. As you can see I don't have any more pages. 
so that's pretty much it everyone i hope you enjoyed this video like i said the launcher is free you can pick it up from the link in the video description if you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos once again everyone thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye